A is the starting point square out A. 1 from A is 1 over 32 when using tape measure. 2 from 1 is the length measurement. We have 28. 3 from 1 is 2 inches for the shoulder slope. 4 from 3 is arm side depth measurement plus 1 half. Square out points 1, 3, 4, and 2. Five from A is one over twelve when using tape measure. Square down five, locating six at line one. Seven from six is three fourth of an inch. Draw a guideline from seven to five and shape the neck from five to one, passing the slant line. Eight from three is one half the shoulder measurement. Connect eight and seven. The intersection at line five is B. Nine. From 4 is 1 for 20 cent tape measure. 10 from 9 is 1 and 1 half inch. Connect 8 and 9 extending upward. 11 is the center of 8 and 9. 12 from 11 is 1 fourth inch. 13 from 9 is 2 inches. C from 8 is the same as 5 from B. And draw a guideline from 5 to C extending sideward. 14 from C is 3 8 inch. And curve the back armhole from 14 to 10 passing through 8, 12, and 13. 15 from 2 is the same as 10 from 2. And connect 10 and 15. Front part square down points 14 and 5. 16 from 5 is 1 16 of breast plus 1 and 1 half inch. 17 from 14 is the same as 16 from 5. Connect point 17 and 16. Then from point 16, make a line parallel to line 3 and mark as point 18. 19 from 18 is 1 16 plus 1 inch of the breast. A guideline from 19 to 16 and mark 20 as the center. 21 from 20 is 3 8 inch. Curve the front neck hole from 16, 21, and 19 extending outward. 22 from 9 is 1 and 1 half inches. Draw a guideline from 22 to 17. Then 23 is the center of the line 13 from 22. D is the 1 fourth inch from 23. Then draw a guideline from 13 to 22. Curve the front armhole from 17, D, 24, and 10. 25 from 19 is 1 and 1 half inches. E from 19 is 4 and 1 half inches. F from E is 1 inch. 26 from 2 is 1 inch also. 27 from 26 is 3 fourth inch. Curve a line from 25 to F, then straight line to 27. Finish the bottom by connecting 15 and 27 with a curved line. Pocket. X is 1 inch from point 4 is square out X. Y is the center of line 24 and X. Square down points 28, Y and 29. 30 from 28 is 4 and 1 half inches. 31 from Y is 5 inches. 32 from 29 is 4 and 1 half inches. Lastly, connect 32 and 31. 30 and 31 with straight line. For sleeves, A is the starting point square out both ways from A. 1 from A is the sleeve length. 2 from A is 1 8 of breast measurement. 3 from 1 is 2 inches fourfold. Square out points 1, 2, and 3. Four from A is one half of the armhole measurement. 
then connect A and 4. Divide line A and 4 into 5 equal parts. Mark as 5, 6, 7, 8. And 9 from 5 is 1 half inch. Connect A and 6 passing over 9 using French curve. Connect 6 and 4 with an inner curve using French curve. 10 from 6 is 5 8 inch. Connect A and 7 passing over 10 using French curve. Connect 7 and 4 with an inner curve using French curve also. 11 from 4 is 1 inch. 12 from 1 is 1 and 1 half slip girt or yung wrist part using tape measure. So 13 from 3 is the same as 11 from 1 plus 1 half inch. And connect 11 and 12 with a straight line. Then connect 12 and 13 with a straight line also. 14 is the center of 11 and 12. And connect 4 and 14 with a slight curve. Color G is the starting point, square out point G. H from G is color with normally 3 inches. I from H is the neck hole measurement, square up point I locating J at line G. K is the center of line G and J. L is the center of L line H and I. M from J is half inch. N from I is 38 inch. Connect N and M with straight line extending upward. O from M is 38 inch also. P from G is 3 inch, connect O and P with a straight light curve, Q from H is 3 8 inch also, and connect Q and N with a slight curve. <music> 